Hello and welcome back to Engineers Escape. My name's Jake, and today we're going to be upgrading the RAM in this HP Pavilion gaming laptop. You can see the model number here. If you haven't already, begin by turning off the power. Also make sure you unplug the charging cable. Let's remove the back cover. There are seven screws, three in the front, and four in the back. Use a Phillips one screwdriver to remove the screws. Carefully pry off the back cover. I'm going to be using this guitar pick. I recommend using a plastic object, as a metal screwdriver could mar up the side. It helps if you start by this USB port like I'm showing. And here's the back of the laptop when the cover is removed. Some of the main components. We have our battery. We have our SATA hard drive or SSD. This one's just a plastic cover. Fans. We have our heat pipes. This is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. And underneath of this black sticker is the M.2 drive and our sticks of RAM. We're going to be adding another stick of this Samsung RAM. Now before we mess with anything in here in the laptop, we're going to unplug the battery cable. And you can see that's this little guy right here. So we'll just get our fingernails underneath the both sides of it and pull out, kind of jiggle it. And we'll just pull that up so we don't forget to plug it back in. Now that the battery's unplugged, let's go ahead and peel back this plastic sticker. And you can see our RAMs underneath this sticker. If you want to remove this and replace it with two new sticks of RAM, you'll simply pull out on the, each of these metal tabs on the side, and then it'll pop up. And then you'll just grab it by the corner and pull straight out and remove your stick. I bought the same RAM so that I could double the capacity from 8 gigs to 16 gigs. Let's install the new modules. Align the slot in the socket the correct way. Simply slide in and push down on the two corners. And you'll see it snapped into place. Same thing with the other stick. Align the slot in the socket. Push it all the way in and then push down on the two corners. Replace the sticker. And just so you can see, the M.2 SSD is underneath this metal cover. And let's not forget to plug the laptop battery back in. Yeah. 
Snap the back cover into place. Replace the four longer screws. And replace the three short screws. And we are done. Let's fire it up and make sure it's recognizing the RAM. On this computer, I first got a CMOS message when I booted up the machine with the new equipment. I had to allow the machine to reboot and then the message went away. Right-click on Computer, go down to Properties, and you can see we've successfully installed 16 gigs of RAM. All right, everyone, that's it for today. If this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it if you left a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.